Okay, we're off. Go, Laden. Can we start? Can we just get your name and rank, please? Uh, Inspector David White. And your rank? Uh, so you... I'm the uh, Central District Road Policing Manager. And what has happened here this afternoon, David? So uh, what happened this morning at Waverley is an absolute tragedy on our roads. Six people have lost their lives and others are in hospital. Uh, that this happened on a, uh, a day like today is just unbelievable and just devastating for those involved. What were the road conditions like at the time? So today our priority is, is dealing with those at the scene and also providing some support and comfort to their families. Uh, and that's where our thoughts are as we speak now. Well, what does it appear has happened? Uh, I really want to thank those that were first on the scene for their prompt action uh, coming across which must have been an absolute horrible scene to come across. Uh, particularly like to thank the first responders from St John, the fire service and our own staff who've had to deal with this today. What is it like for police having to work at a scene like this? Well our thoughts are with the families but for our staff you know, we have feelings too. We'll deal with, uh, with those involved today, but later on we will provide support for our staff that need it. It's got to be yeah, pretty traumatic for your staff to, to be working with amongst six dead bodies. Dealing with a, tra uh, you know, a crash like this today with six people dead is just devastating. There's, there's no other words for it really. How does it appear the accident has happened? Well, like our investigation is in really early stages, but I can say that it would appear the cars have collided head on on the slight bend on the road. There's been some talk of there being mowers on the road. Can, are you able to elaborate on that? No, I don't. Is this the worst accident or worst, worst yeah, number of deaths in New Zealand? Or I don't know the answer to that, but you know, for Central District, this would be um, you know, six people dying is, is just terrible. Uh, although you know, for, for a family involved in any crash, anybody dying in any crash is just terrible. Uh, this just sort of amplifies the impact across our community. So there was uh, four elderly people in one car, and what was the other car? Was was the blue car the um, a family, or is it uh, which car was the elderly? So the, the car heading uh, north from Waverley contained four um, elderly people. They were all deceased. The car heading uh, into Waverley contained uh, a, a male driver who's deceased, a front seat passenger who is uh, in hospital an eight-year-old in the back seat who was in hospital and an infant in a car seat who was also deceased. Who was the sixth that, that deceased? So the last person to die was the... No, yeah. No, no one said. Oh, in terms of the update, and the, the, the which which car was the sixth? Was it in the second car, the sixth person? Yes, the four um, elderly people died um, either at impact or soon after. Is, is the fact that there was a, a child there that was so young, you know, another factor that police are, and um, emergency services are dealing with? Yeah, well, that's, you know, like a lot of our staff have young families and um, having to deal with that is not pleasant. But, you know, our thoughts are with their family first. They are the ones that have actually lost the, uh, the baby. Do we know anything about where the people are from? No, look, our investigation is really, really a focus. At the scene here has been on recovering uh, the scene and, and getting hold of next of kin and dealing with that. How long will the road be closed? Uh, probably another hour and a half, you know, but we'll have it open before dark. Where have the survivors been taken? I understand one went to Waikato and one has gone to Wellington, but... Um, How sure. seriously are they injured? My understanding is when they left the scene here, they were all stat one, which is very seriously injured. So there is potential others could die from this crash? Yes, it, yes. Would speed have been a factor in this? Sir? Well, that's too early to say. We've got serious crash uh, unit are investigating the scene as we speak, and that will come out through that investigation, and then, of course, there'll be a coroner, an inquest in due course.